Hey everybody, so we are in Monday afternoon now. Hello. I've cleaned up a little bit. Laura just left. She was here for lunch. And AJ is napping out there in the living room on the couch. So I didn't want to be out there talking on film. So really today is just a day of being home. Trying to get as much done on the computer and filming and housework. Laundry. Taking care of a baby making dinner. I still got to go to the store later this evening just to get a few things. AJ needs more formula and um, just like busybody stuff here at home. And so I'm going to just focus on that stuff and go through my planner and check everything off as I go and just pray I get more done than what I did yesterday. I did do a lot yesterday but time like went so by so fast and we normally eat 7 30 to 8 p.m. Ryan gets home from work sometime between 5 and 6 and then we um, you know just hang out for a little while I mean dinner and we eat generally sometime you know later in the evening and so when I put dinner on Sundays between 5 30 and 6 Normally, everybody starts showing up at 5.30, and I'm still cooking, and I just feel like I'm always rushed on Sundays. So, I want to try to get better. I want to maybe make some crockpot meals um, for Sundays, since there's usually so many people over, and I don't want to just be in the kitchen the entire time. So, I want to think that out just a little bit, and figure out some easier meals that I can make for, like, a crowd. And, um, what else? Just kind of get busy. And so, I'll bring you around for some of it. I don't know how much, but I'm just going to be pedaling around the house and trying to figure out exactly what my next video is and get that recorded and or edited. I do have a food diary coming up soon. And, what else? AJ's four-month update. Just lots of random videos, so definitely subscribe if you're not already, and follow along on Instagram. Um, I have laundry to put away as well, and that sucks. But just life at home, and even when I start working, I'm going to be working in the evenings. So I'll still be home with AJ, and you know, I'm a homebody. Um, thankfully... I like being at home and my schedule has gotten so much better. I don't sleep late anymore. And I think, you know, honestly, whenever um, I slept till, I, you know, when Scott and I were together, I slept a lot. I think a lot of that was depression. Not necessarily because of Scott or Jackson, but because I miss my family. I miss my friends. Um, I didn't have a good support system. I didn't have a lot of girlfriends. I just felt isolated and I think that mattered and it showed in my parenting it showed in my home and now my home is a wreck anyway half of the time because I always have people here and I'm always taking care of a baby and animals and Ryan and our friends and our family and it just seems like you know I don't get around to getting as much done especially organizing things so it's super important when you find an organizational system right now in my house that works, stick to it. Um, we still have a lot, you know, we still have like some stuff we need to get done, hang some curtains, uh, buy some more furniture, but we are just, you know, one big family and it's not always happy, it's not always perfect, but we love each other and that's really what matters. So. I'm going to get off the camera so I can get some stuff done, and I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Bye! So, I'm working on publishing this newest vlog, the one that's going up today. And I just wanted to point out to you guys that I do have a playlist for just 2018 videos. So, if you're new to my channel, definitely check out that. And there's tons of other videos and other playlists from different years. But I just wanted one playlist for this year. I wish I would have done it by years as well as individual playlist. But I just started it this year and I hope it helps you guys out a little bit and you can find the most current videos that way. So many of you have asked what I have been planning in. 
because I did speak about my Midori. I missed it. I bought inserts and I haven't used them. And so I felt like I'd been kind of in a planner funk. I have a family calendar that I keep updated. I'll share that with a plan with me sometime soon. But I've been using just this black notebook. It is lined. And I've been using it just basically bullet journal style. And um, lots of notes in it. Lots of different things um, that I'm just kind of keeping together. And it's worked out pretty well. It's just like a running to-do list, but it is in the bullet journal style. And so I will talk more maybe about this, but we do have a couple new planner reviews coming up. Now, one of them is Passion Planner. I've worked with them many times, and I'm going to show you a different way that I've used their planners, um, that I'm using their planner than what I have in the past. So I'm excited to share that with you, and then I have a, um, like the Lion Planner that will be um, shown to you guys really soon and there'll be giveaways going on so definitely subscribe if you're new to my channel and I just wanted to show you guys it's nothing fancy you don't see stickers um, I have a ton of stickers still but um, I don't use them really I don't have time I don't really want to waste my energy on that I do have some other um, books that I do put like different like photo stickers in and I'll share that with you in the future as well but this is just a really um, everyday notes things I'm doing for YouTube and um, my home and my child and just different things going on but I have been just like road mapping my week by the days um, and I've had lots of different bullet journals I'll try to remember to link one in this one is very minimal I'm not doing like a ton of um, I'm not putting a ton of effort in it. I just feel like I have so much time management issues now that I can't sit down in here. But I do need a place for all of my thoughts and all of my to-do list and things that I need to do each day. And this little book is working great, so I just thought I would share it with you guys. Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday. It is 8.42 a.m. I've been up for about 42 minutes. Um, Orion and Jackson took off and now I am kind of waking up, checking emails, drinking coffee and waiting on sweet little AJ to wake up. So in the mail today I got a package from Thrive. They sent more of their canned freeze dried fruits and vegetables. These are the peas and we got the celery and it's diced up. We got a big can of corn. That's huge. It is 15.87 ounces, almost a pound. We got a can of freeze dried banana slices and freeze dried peach slices. So I can't wait to share these with you. I'll have more information in the description box and we'll be making a video and I'll be talking to you a lot more about this really, really soon. So I was asked a couple questions about this washer and dryer and I just wanted to answer it for you guys before I do the reviews. So one of the questions I got about that dryer is does it plug into just like a regular wall outlet or one of those, I think they're 220 um, outlets, you know, for a regular dryer. It plugs into the regular wall outlet. So that's amazing and it um, works really well. I haven't had any issues with it. I don't even have it vented outside, and I know that summer is coming. So I will either move it closer to a window, or I will get a one of those little um, extension things, one of those spoily things that extend out, and I will vent it so you know the house isn't hot in the summer. But um, with the washer, everyone um, has seen this. I've shared it many, many times. And a couple of the questions I got on this is, um, can you, what size load is it? That's one of them. And it's a pretty decent size load. I can fit quite a bit in this one. And um, I'll go in depth over what size it is and all that in the reviews. And I'm going to do separate reviews. They won't be in the same one. And I'll explain everything about them. Um, and I also got a review, I also got a question, excuse me, about, um, is it hard to get into the kitchen? Um, and for me, it's not. It has wheels. I managed to get it back and forth. 
Um, I really wish, you know, I had a laundry area, but I don't in this apartment, and eventually I will when I move. But I wanted um, a washer and dryer. I didn't want to pay for it, um, you know, like $3 a load at the laundromat. I didn't want to haul it. It was heavy. I have a new baby. I didn't want stuff stained. And these are really nice. They are perfect for an apartment. I have a closet they both could fit in, um, but it would be hard to to wash in there even though I do believe I could probably make it happen if I bought long enough hoses but I really don't want a hose stretched out so I just roll it and I do laundry a couple days a week usually three days right now but I do do it a little extra um, because Laura's washer and dryer are broke right now so sometimes she'll bring laundry over and you know we just have to get around it in the kitchen and um, then I just bring it back in here whenever I am done. It's not perfect, and it is in here with my dining room, like at the front of my dining room. So my table's here, and my washer and dryer's here, but, and I have my little drying racks over here, but um, it works perfectly fine, and I really like them. Um, they, you know, you can't do huge loads, but you can get your laundry done. And if you keep up on it, it's not a problem. I have um, made some wool dryer balls that I'm going to share with you guys, tell you how to make them. They're great for the dryer, so um, I'm going to definitely share that in the coming weeks as well. That's a video popping up, and um, it's an easy one, and it makes drying your clothes a lot easier. And it gets the static out of them and wrinkles and all kinds of different benefits to the wool dryer ball so I can't wait to show you how to make those another question I got was can I use softener sheets in this dryer again I'll go over all this in the review but yes you can so I used just softener sheets for my clothes and then I have this baggie over here with sponges with the softener that I'm using in the washer now I usually only use these little sponges that I've cut up for blankets, towels, sheets, sometimes coats, throw blankets, um, items like that that I really want to smell good and be super soft. But yes, you can use those in these um, in this dryer. And I don't know. I just I'm very grateful for them. I will take care of them. They will. I will have these even if I move into a house. This will be my washer and dryer until they work no longer. And I have warranties on both so it's really nice if anything happens I can get them repaired but I'll discuss the warranty and all of that with you guys but I know a few people were interested in these and um, yes they work really well you can fit um, lots of clothes in the washer same with the dryer they're basic they're the same one it's the magic chef washer and it's the magic chef dryer and you can buy this shelf that goes up and over kind of like one of those those shelves that go above your toilet and actually the dryer would sit up on that kind of high above the washer but that's if you have the hookups available um, in that spot and clearly I don't but you, that's what they mean you, you will see if you look these up on Amazon that they are stackable but that's what they mean they mean lifting up the dryer up to this little they have the stand and they mean lifting up the dryer right above the washer and that would be great I would totally do that if I had the um, you know the the water input coming in so it does work you can use it in your bathroom you can use it in your kitchen I do use it in my kitchen and um, it does take up the sink which can be frustrating but you just kind of wait till the loads done or you can go to the bathroom and get some water out of that sink or you can get some water out of the refrigerator whatever you know but um, yeah super happy with these Is that mommy's baby? AJ. Not paying any attention to me. Hi, there's mommy's baby. Hi. Hi. Those feet. Look at those feet. Feet everywhere. Feet everywhere.
funny for sure. Okay. Okay. So Ryan and I was out a long time today and we came home and we ordered pizza for us and Jackson and um, we got AJ's picture but right now I'm boiling eggs for dinner tomorrow. Um, I'm just, it's a job I can get done tonight, super easy. I also have laundry going because I usually do laundry on Sundays and since it's Easter I'm not really going to be wanting to do that so I've got probably maybe two, three more loads of laundry left to do. And, um, what else? You see, we tore the pizza up, and we still got quite a bit of brownie left. But, um, I'm thankful that we had pizza tonight. What did we have last night? We had Chinese last night, so we have ate out a little bit. But I'm going to be making a big dinner tomorrow, so whatever. I got these chocolate bunnies for everybody coming to dinner. I hope I got enough, but I think I did. And um, I know I got enough for the kids, obviously, but um, I'm gonna put them in something different. I just put them in that for now. And uh... happy Sunday, everybody. Happy Easter. So I'm going ahead and getting some food prep done for tonight's dinner. Have the carrots sliced up, the potatoes and onions and garlic on this tray. Both of them have um, olive oil. They have thyme and parsley, salt and pepper. The flavors will kind of be the same on both, and they are ready. I also have the cupcakes that just came out of the oven, and the green beans going in the crock pot. And while I'm busy cooking, AJ is having tummy time on Daddy. Hi. Hi, Slobberbox. What are you doing? Hi. Hi. Say happy Easter. Happy Easter, everybody. So cute. So the green beans are cooking awesome in the crock pot. I don't have to really think about it and they are just doing their own thing and I will transfer this out to the table when we are eating and we're ready to eat. And over here are the roasted carrots. They will just have to be warmed up really quick and then corn's in the bowl. I did roasted potatoes tonight because I didn't want to mash them and it's my dinner. So I am making roasted potatoes and they are roasted. They will just go back into the oven um, as well. So I have the bread that I have to do and we're doing croissants. So I have to get those ready and I have the ham in the oven. I don't really like um, aluminum foil so I have parchment paper over it. And we already have guests here. Brittany, as um, I said with the flowers, she is already here. We have um, a bunch of people coming and this is gonna hopefully feed us all. I have eggs and everything on the table that I just shared with you and I have a few other things to get ready and I'm just going to keep going. It is Monday morning and look what I forgot to serve with dinner last night. I was just getting ready to warm up my coffee and yeah, we had a bunch of corn that we didn't eat so I don't know what I'm doing with that but... I guess I'm going to have to um, 
dump it out, I guess. I don't know. It's been in the microwave all night. Here's the only dishes that we have left after having so many people over here last night. So that was really good. Um, not very much. Just the crock pot and a big pot there for mac and cheese and a couple cups. So, yeah, that's hilarious. Hey, everybody. Happy Monday. So, I didn't vlog a lot last week, and I thought, you know what? I would take a minute today and jump on camera and tell you kind of what went on, bring you up to date on where we are today, and just kind of talk to you guys for a minute. So, I was doing good. Um, Tuesday, I started feeling kind of bad. Couldn't really explain it. It was just kind of more like my stomach. And then Wednesday, I got a migraine, and it was really like a two-day migraine. It was horrible, and it was hard to take care of the baby, but my kids and my family helped me out. My friends helped me out a lot. I was physically sick, and I couldn't see very well, and I was in so much pain, and clearly, I wasn't pulling out the camera for, for that. Um, it was terrible. I couldn't eat. Um, I couldn't really sleep because the pain was so bad, and, um, finally, Friday, about 4 a.m., um, I got to the worst point, and then I got better after I took some medicine. So, um, and I had been taking medicine the whole way through, but I took a little bit of something a little bit stronger. I was able to knock the migraine out, and, um... Friday, I felt like I was just, like, recovering. It just took so much out of me, and um, it was just a really hard week in terms of being sick and having such a headache. And then on Friday, Friday, Ryan and I went out and about for a little while and ran some errands and then came home and had Chinese food. And, um, um, Saturday we ran some errands in the afternoon, and we had pizza with Jackson and our friends, and then, um, I started prepping for Easter on Saturday night just by getting the eggs ready, obviously cleaning up the house, and getting what I could done, and then Sunday morning was all devoted um, all to cooking and cleaning and then once ever I put it all out on the table we like extended the table it's got an extra leaf in it and we extended the table we had um, probably like 14 maybe 15 people here and what that really share shows me you know Scott and I always had big family get-togethers where all of our family was you know, in South Carolina or North Carolina or Ohio, or we came up here and we had all these family get-togethers. And when I moved into this apartment, I was kind of depressed because it wasn't what I thought it would be. I, you know, still wanted the family get-togethers. I wanted the 4th of July cookouts. I wanted, um, you know, Easter dinner and Christmas dinners. And I just didn't think I was gonna get that. But we had so many people here last night and we had so much food and we had so many laughs and AJ was passed around like a hot potato and our teenagers were here and our extended family were here and Ryan's mom and dad were here, sister and it, you know um, we had friends from you know our apartment that were here that were alone and then we had you know Laura and the kids here for a little while and then, you know, I mean, the, it just, the house just filled up, and I had a wonderful time, and I think everyone else did too, and we had delicious food, and really nice company, and, you know, I vlogged a little bit during that time, but, you know, it's hard for me sometimes, because I'm doing a lot, I'm, you know, working on the food, and, and talking to family and friends, and taking care of AJ, and having a million different conversations throughout the night, and just, it's just not really conducive to pulling out the camera. I actually thought about setting it up and just letting it roll, but I forgot to do that. So I just didn't video that much like this past week. I didn't get up my monthly favorites, and I didn't get my, my month in review because 
of that migraine. So I'm going to work on those and get those up in the next couple of days. It's just pushing back the video schedule a little bit. And um, as I've said through the video, I definitely have some reviews coming up. Reviews every week. We got some new planner reviews. We got some new household reviews. We got some new food reviews. I'm just going to be reviewing it up um, probably one a week, maybe. Maybe two a week every once in a while. But I have lots of videos planned. I hope to get in front of the camera this week. And I really hope you enjoyed what I did share. And let me know how your Easter went. AJ had a great time. Um, you know, he's so little still. So I think, like... I know this is his first true Easter, or was his first true Easter, but I believe next Easter will really be the fun Easter where he gets this big basket and going through candy, and I just, I think next year will be even better, so I'm excited. But let me know how your Easter was in the comments. Um, this week, really what I need to do today, by the way, is clean up this house of mine, um, work on videos run some appointments. AJ has his four month old appointment on Thursday and just get some stuff done. So definitely um, come back and I will see you guys really, really soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. By the way, I forgot to tell you guys, I mean, I guess you saw um, the other night. Oh my God. Romeo, this is starting out to be a disaster. Okay, we're trying this again. So, you guys might have noticed, I did cut my hair off. Um, I believe it was Tuesday night, I think. Um, I just had enough. And I like it a little bit shorter. It's easier for me to take care of. And, you know, um, it's faster. And so, I've cut my hair for years. But I... Um, I really need to go have it cut, trimmed up a little bit on it, you know, by somebody. It's kind of hard to get it completely even. I got this part just a little bit shorter than what I wanted, but I am happy with it. Um, and I do like the color. It's going to be a little bit lighter. Last night I slept with it wet, and so it's a little bit crazy sticking out in the back. But um, I just thought I would say something about it because I was watching back the footage, getting ready to saved this day in the life vlog and I didn't even mention it. Look who's up from his nap. Say hi YouTube. He is so sweet you guys. So in love. He's got the hiccups right now. He's got the hiccups. And so we are just trying to get motivated on this Monday. So you'll see the beginning of next week's clip in the same clothes just because it's Monday and I'm not changing for a new clip. Um, or for a new week, a new vlog, I guess, for a new week. So, anyway, thank you guys again for watching. Don't forget to get subscribed on Facebook and on Instagram. I have some giveaways coming up. You definitely want to be subscribed. Hit the notification bell on YouTube so you're notified of my videos. And I will see you very soon. Say bye, YouTube. Say bye. Hi. Say bye. Bye.